Joining me now, Democratic Congressman Raja Krishnamurthy of Illinois, who serves on the House Oversight Committee. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Thank you so much, Chris. Besides being on that committee, you have an interesting background because you served as a special assistant attorney general in the public corruption unit in Illinois. So looking at it from all those different perspectives, give me your take on where we are right now. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, business was good in Illinois uh, when I was in that position. But, you know, in this, in this current uh, situation, uh, we're seeing serious questions being raised that come out of uh, General Flynn. Uh, firing the other day. Um, was he just one bad hombre who went rogue? Or was he directed by others to engage in these discussions regarding sanctions with the Russian government? Uh, another big question is what was the substance of those conversations? Why did they occur? Was there a quid pro quo? And then finally, what, what secrets, what national uh, secrets were compromised in the balance uh, that the Russians now have. We need to get to the bottom of that uh, because we need to be able to protect ourselves and our national security. I think the House Oversight Committee is the right place to do this. There is a break, obviously. The chair of the Oversight Committee, Republican Jason Chaffetz, said yesterday your panel would not investigate Mike Flynn's resignation. And then Steve King, another of your fellow Congress people on the other side of the aisle, had this to say about Mike Flynn earlier today. I think what's most important here is the leaks that are coming out of the intelligence community that appear to be designed to politically assassinate some of the members of the Trump administration or at least weaken the Trump administration. And if you cannot trust the intelligence community to maintain uh, classified information that's protected by law and facing with a potential 10 year sentence in the federal penitentiary, uh, you've got to do something to clean up the intelligence community. He says General Flynn has been the subject of political assassination. What's your response to that? I, I respectfully disagree. I think the real issue here is, you know, what did General Flynn say to the Russians? Who directed him to say it? Why? And what secrets have been compromised? I mean, this, is, this goes beyond politics. I'm heartened that Senate Republican leaders, um, people like John McCain and Lindsey Graham and others, have called for an investigation. Um, now it's time for the House Republican leadership to do the same and for Mr. Chaffetz to initiate this investigation in the House Oversight Committee. We need a full, transparent accounting of what happened. I closely guard uh, sources and methods and classified information as appropriate. But you have to understand, you know this, more than half this country is now skeptical about the relationship between the Trump administration and the Russian government. What's happened recently with General Flynn only adds fuel to the fire of all the conspiracy theories that are bounding. We need sunlight on the situation. We need transparency. And that's why we need an oversight investigation. Congressman, good to see you. Thanks so much for coming on. Thank you so much, Chris.